What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be playing some early season top ladder using the deck that finished number one in the world last season by Doom. So Muhammad Light, who finished number one four seasons in a row, had his streak ended by Doom here, who used this deck to finish first. You can see it's a Lava Miner Skeleton Dragon deck, kind of fireball bait because you have the Flying Machine, the Skeleton Dragons, and the Mega Minion in it. And then you have the Tombstone, which pairs very nicely with the Skeleton King because obviously the Skeletons are a good way to fill his bar up. And then Arrows are just a really good spell to have in Lava Hound deck. So I already got started playing a little bit this season. I'm currently 113th in the world right now, but we'll try to uh, climb up even more by the end of the video. And before we head in the first game, if you guys would like to support me, you can use my credit code BOSS in any Supercell game. Would really appreciate that from you guys. It does mean a lot. But yeah, let's head into the first game and I'll see you guys when I find it. Okay, we found our first game here and we have Tombstone in our starting hand. So that's good because it's a very good defensive card and it's tricky for your opponent to break through oftentimes. So we probably can just start with the Tombstone. It's pretty safe. And then from there, see how he responds to it. He's just going to go Mega Minion, so I can probably Lava Hound in the same lane because that's using one of his air counters that's pretty good against the Lava Hound and also the Flying Machine, so it's pretty safe to apply some pressure now. I don't know why he went Bowler at the bridge. I thought he was maybe going to Graveyard with it, but he just played it by itself, so that's really easy to defend, so I don't think that was a great play, but maybe he's just trying to bait some Elixir out of me, but that Bar Barrel 2 is really interesting. Um... So I guess I'm probably just going to go Flying Machine here to try to snipe the Inferno Drag. And then maybe use the Skeleton King ability. Yeah, that's going to be very good because I think he just used a lot of Elixir. So I actually don't know if he can defend this. Yeah, Barbro comes in last second. But wow, that was a lot of damage. Way more than I thought I would get. And we also got a little lucky because the Mega Minion wasn't locked on the... Um, I don't think that Inferno Drag is going to get a lot of damage. I'm just going to... Be cautious though yeah because let's say he has a freeze or something i doubt he does because he already used what was it a snowball and a bar barrel so freeze would be kind of weird especially since i feel like it's a graveyard deck but i don't know at this point it's looking like it's something very strange i have you know no clue what the you know remainder of his cards are like what his win condition is for that matter so you can go bowler i have a feeling it's graveyard so i'm gonna get ready we probably need to arrow on defense against it probably use skeleton king against it let's see so skeleton dragons are going to be pretty good against that inferno dragon bowler wait he's got golem uh golem in a, in a bowler deck that's kind of odd so i think that's going to take the tower i don't need to do anything else yeah he's just gonna let the skeleton king go perfect so we'll just tombstone here let's see if we can defend this might be tricky i wonder if he has graveyard with this golem deck i don't know at this point i'm just very wow he actually does okay so it is going to be my initial thought of it being graveyard so i guess we can just defensive skeleton king ability here just go flying machine and yeah it looks like we defended this pretty well so very strange deck this is like a mid ladder deck like i don't know golem graveyard bowler that's that's a very strange combination but sometimes beginning of the season even when you're, you know, on the higher end of the leaderboard, you'll play against these strange decks like this, and that's why early season is very interesting. So yeah, we're gonna get the uh, first win pretty easily here, I would say. We had a very good start, and I'm glad I was ready for that graveyard. I kind of could tell based off of what he was playing earlier that it was, you know, likely gonna be a graveyard deck, and yeah, sure enough, it was, so... Golem Graveyard Bowler, alright. I don't, Maybe I've only seen that before, like, one other time. Yeah, that's... Not something I, like, ever see often, though. Let's head into the second game. All right, so we found our next game here, and we're actually against Canario. So this is, if I'm, if this is the real Canario, this is a former uh, world champion. He was on Team Liquid with, uh, if you guys remember, Surgical Goblin. If you guys watched that, I think it was end of 2019. So this should be interesting. I actually didn't know he still played the game, but it looks like he, you know, does. Because we're against him right now. So let's go Skeleton King into the e is here, and um, see how he responds to the Skeleton King. He's just going to not do anything, so I'm actually going to cycle Skeleton Drags with it, because I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I think he was probably leaking Elixir for a second or two there, so I think it was pretty safe to drop. Okay, so he's going to go Lumberjack. I'm going to Lava, because I felt like that Lumberjack was kind of a waste, and we already have the... We had the... Um, uh, 
We had the Skeleton Dragons up kind of helping a little bit. I don't know if he's got an Inferno Drag. If he does, this is probably going to be a little bit tricky. And there's a good chance he, he does, but I don't know for sure. He's just going to Barbarrel that. Um, I'm going to Skeleton King because the Lava Pups are going to get good value with it. And then we can Miner the Ewiz. And then probably use our ability in a couple seconds once this Lava Hound breaks. Although, maybe not right away because the Lava Pups didn't die yet. Wait, is that freeze going to expire by the time... Ooh, it stays alive. Nice. So let's use it. Let's go Flying Machine here because he just used a lot of Elixir. He went for Freeze and Tornado. That was 7 Elixir and Barb Barrels. So even though he was able to stop this, that wasn't really that aggressive or risky to do because he just spent a lot of Elixir. And Flying Machine is going to get a couple shots there. Nice. So that was really good. Great start. And I don't know if he has an Inferno Drag because he hasn't used it yet, which makes me think he doesn't, but I guess we'll see. So we're going to go for a high tombstone here, and um, I'm going to try to... Wait, actually, I don't think I need to do anything because he's not back to a freeze, so yeah, I don't need to overcommit. He doesn't even take the tower, and now this counter push is going to be, I think, pretty scary for him. I don't know how he's going to defend this. I mean, I'm sure it's possible for him to defend, but it's going to be really tricky because there's so much... Support cards coming in with the Lava. Ooh, I don't get the Skeleton King ability off, but I still think we're going to take the tower anyway, or at least get it into arrow range. And, um, okay. Yeah, we don't quite take it, but let's just focus on defense here. I'm going to set up a Tombstone. We know he has to go for a Balloon. He's running out of time. And yeah, that should be GG. Nice. So we are able to get the win. I don't think that was that bad, even though he had you know, the pressure, which is kind of annoying sometimes. I feel like we have a lot of good air counters. The Mega Minion, Flying Machine, Skeleton Dragons, and the Flying Machine got us a ton of value that match, without a doubt, because he didn't have any good spell for it, like a Fireball or, you know, direct damage, so he had to overcommit every time. So, yeah, with that win, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go into the uh, third match. Okay, we're in our next game here against Carl. So, Tombstone is in my starting hand. That's what I like to see. I don't know if he's going to do anything. It looks like he's not, so... I'll just go ahead and play a tombstone a little higher up so if he has a hog deck it'll go for the tombstone if he plays it in the other lane okay he's not doing anything so let's go ahead and cycle skeleton king i don't know why he's leaking so much elixir he must be using something quite expensive or he's just wait i'm so confused what was even happening for a second okay he's just gonna cycle his inferno drag i'm gonna go ahead and activate the ability okay he's got magonite magonite inferno drag so maybe he's got ram rider which can be annoying for this deck. I'm just going to go Mega Minion here, and because his Inferno Drag is out of cycle, I wonder if it's a good time to go Lava right now. This is going to be really seem really weird, but I'm going to play it all the way at the bridge because his Inferno Drag is out of cycle, so this is probably my best time to pressure because Inferno Drag is so good against the Lava, and I don't have a reset to it. He's going to go Prince. Okay, Tombstone is amazing against this, so this should be fine. I'm going to go for Skeleton King here. Wait, this is actually great. This is really good. This might actually be game. Um, Because of all the skeletons. Well, not game, but... Yeah, look at how much damage we're getting. That was really good. I'm, I'm really happy with that sequence of events. Obviously, we got a little lucky that he has Prince. I thought maybe he had Ram Rider, but Prince is way better for me. Because Tombstone just destroys that thing, as you can tell. And that was really the smartest thing about all that, though, was going for that Lava Hound at the bridge. Even though that seemed really stupid, that might have just won me the game because I knew he didn't have an Inferno Dragon cycle. And Inferno Drag is like one of the biggest counters to Lava, especially when you don't have a, a, um, a Zap to reset it. So it's very important to do things like that, even if it seems like stupid aggressive, it can actually be the correct play. So let's go ahead and activate this here. Okay, he's going to ha actually have a balloon deck that's interesting so um we can arrow this this might get like a lot of damage but i don't think it'll take my tower yeah our tower is still up so that's good and we'll mega minion for this magonite we're dealing a lot of damage to the king tower i just realized that probably tombstone here i'm gonna go skeleton dragons he's probably gonna balloon shortly so we gotta be ready for that i have flying machine ready to Help out. He's laughing. Okay, so I think he knows he's done for because we can just go for Flying Machine. Now he's spamming the CRL number one emote. 
Um, I don't know if you guys know this, this is kind of like a trend at the top of ladder. Sometimes when people get salty and they lose, they spam the, uh, the CRL emote. I don't know why, I mean, I know it's a very spammy emote, but I think it's a little cringe. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, obviously the goblin laugh, the laugh in general, that's like kind of everyone, no matter where you are in trophies, some people do that. But the CRL number one emote, I don't know why, but I guess... It's, it's so weird, I, and it's kind of cringe. I don't know why people spam that. I, I just think it's kind of funny. Um, anyway, let's claim our reward, and I guess we can, uh, yeah, head into the, uh, the next game. Okay, we found our next game here. So, Lava's in our starting hand. We don't want to just go Lava first play, though, when you're not using a Lava Loon deck. It's a little risky, so we'll just react. Okay, he's got Ghost. So this is going to be a bridge pam deck of some sort. I hope this isn't... Oh, no. If this is three Musketeers, this is going to be really hard. It's actually one of the worst matchups for... Yeah, Lava Hound, so... Um, yeah, this is going to be really difficult. This might end up yeah, being a loss, but... Um, you know, I'll, I'll see what... I'll try my best, obviously, but it's really hard. The 3M, though, is very aggressive. Very, like, the very first play of the game, essentially. I'm gonna try to be aggressive here myself. It's Miner the Collector. Ooh, he's got a minion horde, okay. So my arrows do good against that. But I think this is still gonna be difficult, because... I have no spell for the three musketeers. I don't know how we're gonna defend them. Guess tombstone this golden knight. I'm just gonna go ghost. Um, let's try to do a flying machine like this. Actually, okay, he goes three M. He's being very aggressive with the three M because he knows I don't have a counter to them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, we ice golemed early. I'm gonna lava hound for sure, I think. Okay, so we might actually have a chance here. This game is so far kinda going okay. I'm gonna miner all the way in the back. If it um even if he ignores it, I guess it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna mute just because he's BMing with a hard counter, so. I don't really want to hear it, to be honest. Go Mega Minion. Yeah, this is going to be GG, I think, for sure. It's almost impossible, so I don't mind losing this. I think it's common knowledge that everyone knows that, like, 3M is, like, you know, the biggest hard counter to Lava Hound, because you just can't defend. You're just going to get overwhelmed eventually. All right, yeah, so, you know, any 3M deck, especially if they have Hunter, it's even harder. But, yeah, you know, no shame losing that. That's one of the hardest counters to the deck, so. Okay, here we go. We're in a game against... Uh, TL Paco, so this might be the last game here. We'll see how long it is. Okay, he's gonna split bats. Mm. Golem. Okay, old tombstone. So maybe this is Lava, um, Golem Clone. I was about to say Lava Clone. I meant to say Golem Clone. So we don't want a Lava yet. I think we should just save all of our Elixir and try to defend this Golem push because playing a Lava into a Golem it's not the best idea because it usually 
doesn't end very well since Golem typically wins like you know like face to face against lava pushes just because of the support cards they have like the night witch does pretty good against lava and he's got the fireball so that's not a good sign because he's got a great answer to our flying machine and the skeleton dragons i think now we could probably go for lava because he just went in for that massive push and after that dark prince we're up a lot of elixir i'm gonna just take that damage to try to build a really nice push here i think it's I guess a decent option probably let's go tombstone here and then I'm gonna go mega minion and then from there see what he does okay night witch I don't know if he's gonna play his bats if he does all arrow perfect hopefully we can take out that night witch if we do that's great okay good good this is great this is really good because now he can't support his golem push and defend, he has to... Wait, I don't think he can do either. He can't even defend. Yeah. I mean, well, he can try to, but he just lost so much of his tower. So we're definitely going to activate the ability of the Skeleton King. And then I'm going to go Skeleton Dragons with it because... I don't know. I mean, this might overwhelm him. I mean, we have the Skeletons, Skeleton Dragons coming in. He does have Fireball, though, so... We don't get much out of that, I guess. So we'll just go Lava Hound now. And then we have Tombstone again for the Golem. So, yeah, his Fireball's out of hand, so Tombstone will get some good value here. Maybe the Flying Machine too, but I don't know if there's any point in playing it because it doesn't deal a lot of DPS to the Golem. So I'm probably going to just instead play my Skeleton Dragons. Do some nice splash. Okay, let's arrow this. Let's activate the ability of our Skeleton King. And hopefully we can have some good defense here. Okay, we force arrows out of him on offense. Or on defense on his end, I mean. I don't know what he's going to do for this flying machine. Okay, he's just going to golem. Let's try to skeleton dragons over here. So this way he can't fireball everything. He has to pick what he wants to fireball. I think he's... I think it's done for him. Like, I think he's screwed because... He just used up so much of his elixir. And... Look at this massive counter push with no fireball in cycle. I... I think he's in some trouble. Even if he defends this, I'm just going to lob out the bridge because I, I don't think he can stop this. I do not think he can. I'm going to... Okay, Flying Machine's on the tower. Yeah, we got him. Okay, there we go. That's going to be GG. Very strange Golem deck. Um, He had Fireball and Arrows, so I don't know if it's a really easy matchup, but, you know, it wasn't, I guess, horrible, and a lot of it was thanks to the Tombstone. The Tombstone definitely kind of carries sometimes against golem without the tombstone like if you were running another lava variant like let's say the one with barbarians or whatever or guards and you don't have a uh, tombstone like you're using lava loon without it um then you're going to struggle a lot but that's where the tombstone comes in handy when you're against you know ground tanks like uh you know golem giant or you know even electro giant so yeah that's going to be it for the video obviously i haven't you know mastered this deck um not like nearly as good with it as doom is who uh you know finished first in the world with it but i think it's very solid in this meta it has a lot of outplay potential even though it's a beatdown deck i would say of the beatdown decks like if we're talking like golem and uh like electro giant and other beatdown decks i would say it has a lot of outplay potential because of the cards like the support cards in it and you can you know play smart and like bait out you know mistakes from your opponent and then abuse you know what spells they don't have in cycle but yeah make sure to like if you guys did end up enjoying it subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already and thanks again until next time guys